Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things crypto-related, unknown, and paranormal. I'm your host, Parker, and guys, welcome back to another Demon Days, where we're going to be talking about different demons. Uh, today, I got a really fun one for you guys. This right here is Lady Vereen. Um, this artwork is done by a person named Wen, by the way. So, Wen, shout out to you. Very good art. And now I'm going to show you guys... Her sigil, if you guys don't like seeing sigils, totally understand. Skip a little bit ahead in the video, and the sigil is not on the screen. But this is her sigil right here. It's a very, very pretty one. I always say that I can see demons in their sigils. I can kind of see her in this a little bit. I can, can kind of see... I can kind of see wings or horns right here. I can see the tail and the body and then the balance right here in the middle. I don't know, it's a very beautiful sigil, and I definitely can see her in it. I think it's really cool. So, let's talk a little bit about Lady Vereen. So, she is a very, very interesting demon. Very, very cool. She's depicted as a human with a slender build, pale skin, bluish-green eyes, and black hair, or as a demon with gold-tipped black horns and a tail with with a similar color and wings that are gray or black and you can kind of see a little bit of that in this art by Wen right here very good art again by the way shout out to Wen um so the reason that i said depicted as a human is because some people see vereen as a male and some people see vereen as a female Personally, I kind of see her as a female, so I will be referring to her as Lady Vereen, and I'll be using uh, she, her pronouns uh, throughout this video referring to Vereen. Um, you guys can picture Vereen any way you want, but I personally see Vereen as female, so I'll be referring to Vereen as female throughout this video. She's said not to talk a lot. She's said to be one of the more quieter demons, like really into her work and helping people she doesn't really talk too much <clears throat> she helps heal a person and restore their soul so she's really really good at healing she can help restore your soul and bring your energy back up she is very committed to health and wellness she is aligned with dark and light divinity and she also has a perfect balance of both so she doesn't mind helping with with light and dark it's very very cool she also helps rejuvenate people, um, kind of like bring them, like if you're feeling down or something, just kind of like bring them back to like positivity and happiness and all that good stuff. She helps you listen to yourself and to your body um, to balance yourself out. So if you feel like you're out of balance, she can definitely help with that. Like if you feel like you don't know what's going on in your life, where to go, she will help you out with that. She can teach energy healing to heal your energies and energies around you, which is really cool. She can help you redeem your energy, not to others, but to yourself. So if you feel like you did something really wrong um, and your energy just feels tainted or off, she can help you redeem that energy. She can't help um, redeem yourself to others, but she can help redeem that redeem your energy to yourself which is very very good she helps you ascend to the highest version of yourself like the best possible you that you can be which is very very cool she can repair what she can repair what has been damaged with your body or energy so your energy if your energy is damaged or part of your body she can help you with that she can help heal that and restore it she can also calm your anxieties. If you're really stressed about something, have general anxiety um, or anxiety disorder in general, like myself, she can help calm your anxieties. She is the demon of healing, and her personality is calm, peaceful, and serious. Her elements are water and air. Her colors are white, green, blue, silver, gold, lemon yellow, white gold, rose gold, and yellow gold. Her directions are west and east. Her planets are Uranus and Neptune. 
Her metals are gold, mercury, and iron, and her incenses are Palo Santo, or Palo Santo, copal, rosemary, eucalyptus, mint, um, echinacea, ginger, and juniper. And guys, that is all that I have about Lady Vereen today. If you guys like this video, be sure that like button, dislike if you dislike it. Comment below, guys. Let me know what you think of Lady Vereen. She's a very, very interesting demon, and I don't know. She was one that I definitely wanted to talk about today for sure. Um, I think she's very, very cool, and I'm really happy I got to share it with you guys. Um, she can help out with a lot, so hopefully she will be able to help you guys too. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, become a member of the Crypto Crew today, and that bell notification off to the side so you guys know when I upload new videos. Um, next week, guys, we will be talking about the demon Lord Milcom. And if you guys are looking forward to that, again, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification off to the side so you guys know when that video is live. Um, with that being said, guys, there's really not, nothing else I want to talk about. Again, a uh, shout out to Wen again. Um, the artwork's really cool. Uh, and yeah, with that being said, guys. Uh, you've been watching CryptoCast. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, and I will see you guys in the next Demon Days video. Take care, guys.